Growth through Opportunity is a very unique vocational training experience that lasts 16 weeks and right now we're operating in conjunction with Chesterfield County alongside the Sheriff's Office, Police Department, Fire Department, Parks and Recreation as well as General Services to provide a phenomenal experience for young men and women that are young adults that have unique challenges in life, whether that would be autism or cerebral palsy or Down syndrome or Fragile X or a multitude of different intellectual or developmental disabilities. I love it, like, because I love the teamwork, I love everything that we're doing with every single department. Back up! There's no options that can match what we bring to the table, the way we build confidence and hope in these young men and women and who better to partner them with than their local first responders. So these are local kids, local young men and women from right here in Chesterfield County that are partnered with their local police, detectives, sheriff's personnel, um, firefighters, you name it. So they have a combined sense of community, safety, camaraderie, relationship building. What are we serving today? This program actually really wanted to help for me to fit in society, GTO provided help that my high school didn't. We get them back in a routine and build up their confidence. That way, everything that, that they have learned and everything that they do transcends from the GTO cadet training program into the real world. It's a great program. Uh, it keeps you busy. Uh, you work out an hour each day as you're here get you fit, helps your health, and you're learning a lot of stuff. So it's private property, so... Joining police recruits in an academy setting is critically important to formulate relationships while they're sitting in classrooms together, while they're in the cafeteria together. We have mandatory physical training for one hour each and every single day. We take a holistic approach to everything that we do, and it's very important. It's definitely camaraderie building, but it also obviously improves cardiovascular fitness, overall endurance. At the park, we did a lot of things like basketball, racquetball, that was my favorite, tennis, soccer, baseball, that was so much fun. Going out and bonding with my uh, cadet buddies. I actually loved every bit of it, mostly the fighting part. That was the self-defense course. First off, they showed us uh, some moves. They bring out these uh, padded gloves and they're having us strike them and they're also having us uh, use our knees to knee them. I still feel bad about that. Like, poor Officer McWilliams, I mean, that was hard work. Doing all the moves and learning how to defend ourselves was great. I probably wouldn't be able to defend myself if it wasn't for that class. They learned things from CPR, first aid, and it was interesting and wanted to learn certain things about the self-defense portions that we teach our, our recruits. So didn't have any problems um, putting them into the fire, as you saw with the red man suit. And they did very well. They retained all the information that I showed them. And it was a crash course in it. So I was very pleased to show that they can retain that information in such a short period of time. And it made them have extra confidence in themselves going forward. What better way to teach independent living skills than right here at the fire station in Chesterfield County? Yep, that's it. We got to inspect the vehicles. like. We got to check the lights, we got to check if the tire pressures and stuff, we got to check the, the inside if it needs to be cleaned and stuff. We even cleaned the fire trucks and the ambulances and stuff. We did all, like a whole bunch of things in the firehouse from cooking to the sewing shop, just bonding with the firefighters. What we do over here is we repair turnout gear and the boys are helping us with uh, taking the Velcro off that's been damaged, and then what we do is we sew the Velcro back on. We put the fire out with the extinguishers, and it was a lot of fun. I've enjoyed working with the fire department. It makes them they seem like a one big family. They spend all their time together, they work together, they trust each other, and they make you feel part of the family, too. What do you need, Brandon? When I went to the Ropes Challenge course, I think that actually turned my fear of heights into a fun thing, because like, when I got up there, I was like, I don't think I can do this. But when I actually did it, I was like, hmm, this is not too bad. We push these young men to their limits each and every single day. We do it in a very cool way, though. It's, it's a lot of camaraderie building. It's very positive in nature. We don't allow any negativity. Oh, 
job, Brandon. Good job. You work together. You uh, encourage each other, you help each other out. We want to see them continue to thrive, continue to succeed, uh, continue to keep up their cardiovascular fitness, which changes overall moods too. They're a lot more positive in nature now. They're sleeping better. We're seeing reduced medications, reduced numbers with diabetes. It, it's a holistic approach to everything we do. So we want to see that continue uh, for the rest of their life. Good job, proud of you. Good job, proud of you. Good job. Good job, Bernie. We actually try to help you make get a resume and job and try to build up your health and stamina. It's just a great program. It helps you build confidence, get healthier, better condition, and uh, getting you different skills. And you're building connections with other people. You're getting to know them. You're liking them because they're just so, they're great people. What we do truly is put them back in the game of life, make them feel included, to feel loved, feel wanted, feel desired. We give them a lot of positive attention and positive feedback that hopefully will transcend across everything that they do in life to set them up for success and wonderful vocational opportunities after they graduate the Growth Through Opportunity Program. I would recommend it to anyone with a disability because this program is a life changer. You will build character, you will build bonds with friends, you will feel better about yourself within this program. You will succeed. Woo! Nice work! Get in here, you. <laughs> Brandon, you get in here.